What's up everybody, if you that don't know me, my name is Chris, aka Mr. Grow It, and you're watching my extras channel. Here I have a brand new LED grow light. This one was just released today for 2020. This is the ROI E420 LED grow light, uh, and this is by Grower's Choice. They sent me over this grow light in order to do this video right here. Uh, in this video, I am going to unbox the unit so you'll see what comes in the box. I'll also test the PAR output, and I'll do a heat test. I'm not going to talk about the grow lights features like I do on some of my videos, uh, but what I will do is leave a link to this grow light in the description section below so you can learn more about it. I'll also leave a discount code down there. Discount code Mr. Grow It will give you a percentage off, so just want to give you a heads up on that. Okay, so first thing out the box is a user manual. This user manual has a ton of good information about the light. Next is a 120 240 volt adapter. Here is a bag with two rope ratchets in them. Another bag with two more rope ratchets, so they include four rope ratchets total. And lastly is the fixture, and the power cord is actually attached to the fixture. For the part test, I'm going to use the Apogee MQ500 PAR meter. This meter measures from 389 nanometers to 692 nanometers, and the measurements are in PPFD. I do these part test videos just to give you a general idea of what the PAR output is. It's not going to be 100% accurate. I take these power measurements in grow tents, which have reflective walls that could increase the numbers. So just keep that in mind. The ROI E420 has a flowering coverage area of three foot by three foot, but I don't have a three foot by three foot grow tent. So I'm going to take measurements in a four foot by four foot grow tent, and I'll do my best to keep my power meter in a three foot by three foot area. In their instruction manual, they don't say what the light distance should be for the different stages of growth. But after putting my PAR meter under the light, 12 inches, 18 inches, and 24 inches seem to be the proper distances for the different stages of growth, in my opinion. This light does have a dimmer on it, but I'll take the measurements when the dimmer is set to 100%. Okay, so I plugged the light into the kilowatt meter. It is at 100%. It shows 3.63 amps, pulling 440 watts from the wall. Alright, let's get into the measurements.
What do you think of these measurements? Let me know in the comment section below. Just a reminder that there is a link for this grow light in the description section below, along with the discount code, and I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, peace.